What is up, you guys? Your boy Blake VK reacts. Today we're gonna be watching a Choji Fushiguro CG the Chant video. So this one, I don't know what this one's about because it's like a whole new series. Again, it says the Curse Baby Daddy or something like that. I don't, I don't even know. But I'm guessing this is about a uh, a Black Air Force thing or something like that. Right into it. I know a lot of guys come on the show and say they not the baby daddy, but no one in the history of Murray has been more sure than me. That baby look like you? Yes, no, baby. sir. Does it look like me, Murray? I don't know. How. What the hell, bro? Uh... In the case of five-year-old Megumi Toji, you are the father. <laughs> Oh, All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome hey, to yo, the Shibuya Venom. Trials. Why the f did I just say it like that? Let me start that over. Welcome to the Shibuya Trials, where we will be having not one, but two new challenges coming to the round table. Both challenges are hailing from a series that is absolutely popping off right now. And with the new ranking system we are introducing today, these niggas best bring the heat. As they get judged, it's a lot of crimes. Will they make it or will they utterly fing fail? Making his way to the stand right now, challenger one. Toji Fujiguro. Six foot two, about 200 something pounds of straight raw muscle and pure ignorance. He has already submitted himself into the Hall of Fame of anime deadbeat dads. And he Damn, he's 200 pounds? I didn't even know that. Pure muscle, too. That's crazy. He is competing with Gojo, making these holes fall today. Oh knees. my and god. Know, some of these Twitter holes need literal help. Toji Ushiguro. Well, y'all already know we got all that evidence on deck. And it is now time to commence the Shibuya trials. Without further ado, Exhibit A. <laughs> Toji Ushiguro. Where the hell do I even start? No, fuck it. Let's go ahead and get the egregious shit out the way. The nigga sold his son. He yep, did. We I ain't remember holding nothing back with this nigga. Bro said mm -hmm. child support. <laughs> fuck out of here. I ain't paying that bullshit. And the thing that makes it worse, he sold the little nigga to the Zenin clan. The clan that he does not fuck with because they discriminated against his ass. Like, <laughs> nigga. Selling your son is crazy. But it is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Even see this nigga, bro, bro is out here gambling his motherfucking life away. Bro's partner come up behind him. And he like, oh, Jared, what's going on with your boy? I see. Then again, though, he was a sorcerer killer. So like, I mean, he killed sorcerers for a living. Yeah, I mean, and I feel like he, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna just put Mega Me in the right place. You know, it just seemed because you know he seemed like he had you know potential. So. He put it, he put Mega Me in that place, I guess. You out here so. gambling your motherfucking life away. Hey nigga, you still unemployed? Man, chill, bro. You know that unemployment check be hitting like a motherfucker. And obviously, as we can see, bro loses and his parlay just went to shit. And before this man leaves, Damn. he asks his Toji the question. Hey, uh, how your son doing? Megumi, yeah. Oh, Megumi. <laughs> Megumi. <laughs> this shit was crazy, Megumi. too. Megumi. Like, who's that? Y'all know who you're talking about, bro, bro. Is this nigga serious? This motherfucker done forgot his son's name. Oh my fucking god, bro. Holy fuck! Nigga, how the hell you forget your own son's name? It ain't like you got like 12 motherfucking kids, nigga! You have one son. <laughs> you put Nick Cannon on there? Dear god, oh <laughs> I just want to hear the call CPS probably got to have with this nigga. I mean, too late for that. He already been sold. Hello. Hello, this is CPS, Child Protective Services. Are we speaking to Mr. Fushiguro? Uh, yeah. Outstanding. Okay, Mr. Fushiguro, as we can see on our records, uh, it seems that um you have not paid your child support in about 48 months. Is everything good, Mr. Fushiguro? Uh, yeah, son, I don't even know who the fuck you talking about. Um, sir, it clearly shows that you have son on record. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Mr. Fushiguro, hello? Oh, Lord. Hello? Oh fuck! I gotta take a shit. Hey, quit being a bum ass nigga. <laughs> bro, the voice acting in this man is just pure peak, bro. <laughs> quit being a bum ass nigga. Damn, like aggressive too. Shit. Hey, I gotta pay that money. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, this man told you may be walking around and looking like a bum, but I ain't gonna lie, this man's smart as hell. So he has to hunt down this little girl named Rico because she's a star plasma vessel. Oh yeah, dude, Gojo this and shit was insane. Her. And obviously that's two special grade sorcerers. So Toji puts a bounty on her head to make a bunch of dudes come after her and make Gojo and Ghetto tire her out. So Toji could basically get the jump on the ass when they MP bar low. Cause this is not Toji's first run in with Gojo. Bro had to come prepared because back in the day, Toji wanted to go find out what's all the hype about this little nigga in the Gojo clan. So Toji was behind him trying to get the scouting report, but Gojo's a little ad turned around and he was like, mommy, there's a stalker behind us. Enemy spotted. And this man Toji was shook. He was like, boy, ain't no way I should be invisible. I got active camo equipped. But even though this man had <laughs> stealth 100 and no curse energy, bro still got spotted. So this man True. knew I gotta tire him out before I sneak his ass. And what do you know, later on when the mission's almost complete, Toji snitched this nigga. Bro was like, yeah, got your little pretty ass. You know the hoes gonna love this. But now nah, Ghetto went up throwing out one of his motherfucking Pokemon. Looks like bro summoned the ugly ass oversized Weedle. And but destroyed it. This fat ass tapeworm like it was paper. And now we get to observe the first man that this man cooked. Gojo, believe it or not, this sexy ass nigga got his ass beat. I know all the hoes was on life support seeing Gojo get his ass whooped. So Gojo ended up telling him. Oh, that was a that was a day of Twitter. <laughs> I bet you. <laughs> That day on Twitter was insane. Uh, the Twitter hoes were not messing with it. Hey, bro, the bounty's off of her head, bro. But this man told you, told him, man, young blood, I took oh that God. motherfucker down because I set that bitch. Oh my God, bro is a scammer. So Toji starts moving at buck wild speeds with this freak ass physicality because of his heavenly restriction. But this man Gojo hit him with the chin. <laughs> and he said this man Toji the light skin. <laughs> what is this? The sound the effects, bro. Bro is moving like Sonic on them bouncy ass springs. So Gojo said to hell with this and just flattened the entire area, thinking he did something. But this man summoned a bunch of nasty ass mosquitoes, looking like it's summer down here in the fucking southeast, and you. Is Ooh. To sneak this nigga. Bro, them, them them is like love bugs or some shit. Like, you guys ever see like a bunch of love bugs together in a white car or something or something like around like a white area? That's what it seems like to me. And this is where all the Gojo girls were on life support. He started no. stabbing the oh. shit out of this nigga. Bro became Michael Oh, Mike. Jesus. Then he went for the legs. Started filleting that nigga. Then he hits him with the hell sweep. Then stabs oh. him in the head and slams him on the ground. Jesus. Damn. Bro, little boy, the fuck out of this nigga. Nah, he really did the angle lie. But nah, bro said, hit the fucking weight room, weak ass boy. So after Toji put this man Gojo on a poster, meanwhile, Ghetto's with Rico. And I ain't gonna lie, I feel like this nigga was trying to spit game. He basically said, hey, shawty, you know you ain't got a fuse with Tengen, right? You know, me and Gojo can run the two man with you and the maid, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So then it starts playing this the emotional two, ass man. music with her backstory playing in the background. Like that ain't a red flag. And she like, <laughs> oh my God, you're, you're so sweet. Huh? Oh, I know I am. Take my <laughs> hand, shawty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the way they did this was like way you better than the manga. Out, man. Give me my goddamn money. This man told you one pump the shit out of this bitch right in front of this man ghetto. This man told you was like, I ain't gonna lie, my boy. I was hearing all that shit and I just had to stop you from embarrassing yourself. So ghetto got mad as hell and attacked him with another Pokemon. Shit, this one look like a variant of Gyarados. So it ends up slamming him down into the tombs. But Dude, this fight changed ghetto for like for the rest of his life. Like this changed Gojo. Like this, this literally changed ghetto forever. <laughs> <laughs> like this one fight with Toji just literally altered everything. Like his whole mindset, like just everything about the Jujutsu life, bro. Tag did absolutely nothing to him. Bro has no scratches. And I ain't gonna lie, this next part is nasty as hell. So Toji starts explaining how he be moving with no curse energy and how he be using Sneak 100 without being detected. And this man pukes a curse spirit that he keeps inside of his stomach that basically stores all of his curse tools. So basically this nigga's inventory is located in his stomach. That's nasty work. But you know what? If you really think about it, bro really got a video game inventory. So Kato <laughs> sends his big ass cursed dragon at him. He really does. He starts shooting these beams at him, but he starts quick stepping them hoes, jumps up, slices the dragon in half, and he's got nah, this told you was insane, dude. Himself, Cause he's bamboozled. He is like, how's a measly monkey doing this right now? 
So while they on this bridge, Gato pulls out his final attack. And this man brings out the slit mouth woman asking, am I pretty? With your ugly ass. But Toji's like, nah, bitch, you ugly as shit. And slices that motherfucker up. <laughs> so then Toji started slicing up Gato, but the X marks the spot on his ass. Probably gave him the Luffy chest scar. Then 720 Toji puts the Damn. Up this nigga right before the bridge falls. And it was over for bro. GG's. And look at his yeah, disrespectful nah, shit. Bro just right, walked man. over to his body and just kicked the shit out of his unconscious face. Bro was like, you ugly as shit, nigga, with them big ass ears. Shut your go, trap, go, nigga, go, and never go. rise up a bitch again. And you know what's crazy? After he finished beating they ass, this ends up jogging his memory and he's like, oh, I do have a son. Really, nigga? So later on after this, Toji delivers <laughs> old girl's corpse over to the client and she ends up getting shattered out like cell shout out 18. And this nasty old ass looking nigga like, mm, yes, yes, very good. Looks like the body's intact and the bitch is not breathing. Excellent work, young gentleman. I will be sending you a bonus. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah. <laughs> The water man Toji is leaving, probably going to the dealership, going to buy the Hellcat. But he ends up seeing this man Gojo looking like a absolute fiend, a straight booty bandit. So obviously, Toji think he tripping. He like, man, what the fuck going on? Sitting here fantasizing by laying you on your stomach and tuning that big old red ass up. <laughs> And long in that pussy to the square in that bar. No, bro, what? Come on, on, man. This nigga is crazy. So after this man Gojo just finishes yapping for like five minutes about some bullshit out here explaining how he survived. Nigga, we get it. You're broken. Somebody for real need to get the patch notes on this nigga. Like bro is actually busted. But Toji nah, he really like, is hell, broken. I'm about I ain't to send lie. your crackhead ass to rehab. So Toji started attacking, but it was futile. This motherfucker done unlocked Ultra Instinct. Bro said, "Bag your ass up, nigga." Vice yeah. can stare. <laughs> This man told you don't got blasted. Bro, bro is floating. What type of shrooms is he on? This is a level of high that is just unexplainable. But told you was like, bro, the bad. dogs, I'm yeah. Losing no pretty ass nigga. <laughs> oh, he started whipping the chain. But bro, just look at this. Time has just slowed for bro. Bro said, we. Man looks what high. What are you supposed to do about this? How do you fight this? I ain't gonna lie, if I was told you, I would have just gave up. There is no point of fighting this broken ass nigga. But it was too late. Gojo hit him with the purple. Why does he sound like he's about to bust, bro? What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, no. Nah, this nigga's too sexy. Yeah. Bro. Come on, bro. And sadly. This man told you got a hole blown through him. But then Gojo Bro, looks so depressed say, too. Any last words? Uh, fuck you, you pretty ass motherfucker. But also, tell my son to be a real nigga like his baby. Later. Hey, little man, how's it going? So, uh, your dad wanted me to come and uh, check up on you, man. Everything going good, bro? Dad. Wait a minute. I have a dad? Is this nigga serious? <laughs> the <This> shit. <laughs> <is> <clears throat> Exhibit A wrap up. Selling his son. Dodging child support. Trespassing. <laughs> scamming niggas. Attempted murder. Murder. Attempted murder. Trafficking. Exhibit B. Alrighty. Trafficking is crazy. It is time for our grandiose finale. Daddy's home. We now shift our focus to 12 years later on a gruesome Halloween night in the Shibuya district. Now, as we can see, all hell is broke loose. Niggas is getting f***ed up. But we shift our focus over to this old lady, her grandson, and Eno, or what I like to call him, the shiesty sorcerer. So while Eno and her grandson are throwing hands, the old lady in the back is doing some damn witchcraft. She's basically a necromancer. So she ends up reviving Toji in her grandson's body so he could use Toji's body. Nigga, what the fuck? I, you know, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Yeah. I do not know JJK's power system like that. You what? I can already hear the JJK fans typing on their fucking keyboards like, boo you, nigga. Yeah, that's right. Nah, bro, they for real ferocious when it comes to the power system and like, 
when they when they say you do, when when you ever on Twitter, bro, don't ever say you don't understand something from JJK, bro, because somebody will do a long ass paragraph and they'll try to explain it to you, and you still won't get it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't. I I didn't. I couldn't even figure out the whole Hakari domain expansion type of shit. I couldn't even really figure that out because when that shit first came out, I was lost, bro. <laughs> I was reading that damn manga. I was like, "What? How does this domain expansion work?" Like some of these abilities, like you kind of have to just like really read and read. <laughs> and I mean, read. You need to really understand this shit. And, and sometimes I just don't understand at all. And it is what it Boomy is. Boomy nigga. Hey, all I just know is the old lady with um, nigga, la, boom, nigga, la, ba, 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 in the niggas. Yeah, she, but anyways, this man Eno tries. Yeah, she said booty masaga, biga logo, laga, whatever the hell the noise was. Oji takes his shiesty, punches him in the face, and grabs him. This was ferocious. And stares in his soul like, oh, fake ass gangster wearing this damn shiesty. Shut the low, dumbass. Damn. Who bro off of the skyscraper? My god. Look at Itadori looking at bro like, oh, Brody, you got your ass beat and your shiesty snatched? Who could have done this? But here is <laughs> when this gets absolutely <laughs> insane. Idea. So the old lady like, oh yes, excellent work, grandson. Now go down there and kill all those sorcerers for granny. But her grandson start twitching and glitching. And then the unthinkable happened. Bro turns around and says, what did you say, nigga? <laughs> But yeah, uh, this man Toji's in full control now. Bro's body is so damn strong, probably from the heavenly restriction. He basically just little bro the grandson's soul and snatched that nigga body. And then just look at this bro. Hell no! And just standing over her like, night night old bitch. Oh lord, sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so after Toji just murdered a senior citizen, later on, <laughs> Nanami, Megumi, Maki, See, and Naruto are trying to run away from Dagon in his bikini bottom ass domain expansion because they was getting their ass beat. But while they trying to get out, a hole opens and a father finally came home to bring back that milk. So the first thing this man Toji does is grabs Maki's weapon and starts tugging that shit like, give me that shit, and just yanks it away from her, like taking candy from a baby. And while he's walking towards Dagon, now Bito ends up realizing, oh, oh, sweet Jesus, Toji. And this man was just walking like a Terminator, a literal killing machine. So Dagon's old ugly ass looking like Squidward in a Mind Flayer fused, started thinking, uh, he has no curse energy. <laughs> <laughs> this is barbecue chicken. But my man was about to get cooked and served into a gourmet food at a Damn. joint. That looks that good too. I ain't gonna lie. It shoots out this fat ass eel, but Toji slaps it and Oh it Jesus like Christ. Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Moses. This man so hard, he indented his face and lifted his ass ten toes off the ground. So oh, lifted the water too, bro. Like he put the water to the side. He sends him flying and starts hawking him down on the water and beating his ass with these nunchucks. He got this buff ass octopus. Yeah, they did so good in this scene. And I ain't gonna lie. He ends up sending out these piranhas. Like they went crazy on that scene. They didn't even have to go that crazy on that scene, but they did, bro. They did. And I'm glad they did, bro. Because they gave Toji actual justice in the show. And one lands on his face, but he bit that nigga. You know how raw you gotta be to bite a damn piranha? Oh, nah. So then he hits him in his pregnant stomach again. And he ends up trapping him and sending him on the water. And a bunch of piranhas start nibbling on him. Then this fat ass water bug comes from the depths of the ocean and sends him flying. But Toji chops up all the piranhas and tells the water bug, sit your ass down. And then this Damn. Just got brutal. <laughs> now they're on shore, and Toji just starts walking the bro and just starts beating the shit out of him, just hitting them over and over again. He even wrapped up on bro and drop kicked his ass. But then he started sharpening these damn nunchucks, ready to take the life out of man's bro. Said, Anybody down for some fried calamari? So Dagon ends up becoming pussy and tries to dip so he doesn't become seafood. But now Bito stops him, and Toji Hiya! jumps up and stabs him in the head. And this is where Toji's voice actor turned back into his most famous role. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even know he he, he voice acted uh, Toji. That's crazy. They had to do it like that. And now, ladies nah, and gentlemen, after this man Toji turned Dagon into fried calamari, it was time for uh 
some father-son bonding. So Toji looks at Megumi and just throws him out the window. And poor Megumi, because goddamn, it was time for some tough love. Bro was looking at him like, what's good, little nigga? Before I died, I hope to God you became a raw ass nigga. So let's test your gangster, young boy. <laughs> and I know he ain't knew this was his son. But god damn, he was whooping his ass. Yeah, nah, the figure was struggling, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Backhanded him, headbutting him and everything. So then Megumi yeah, summoned the Rain Man nah, Raven. Yeah, Rain was struggling, and bro. This is where the animation was just cracked out. Bro stepped on the ground, got a bunch of debris from the ground, and basically made him bullets and started shooting all the rats out here committing animal cruelty. I also heard that, like, the lady, when the lady was summoning Toji, like, they were summoning, like, him in his prime. So I'm assuming that, like, when he was in his prime, like, freaking Gojo and, like, Ghetto didn't even fight him in his prime. Right, they may they must have have faced like a different version of Toji, where I'm assuming, because like this this version of Toji was like a lot younger. I suppose I I don't know if that's true. Don't quote me on that. But I heard from I was like on Twitter the other day and like I heard I saw like a manga panel, and that that was like pretty much like a it was like a a claim or a, a, a disclaimer or whatever. I don't not even disclaimer, but like a little letter or something like that. First the Octo nigga, and now the Rayman Raving Rabbits. I know the Peter hotline going crazy right now. Then told you just continued to beat the hell out of bro. He basically hit him with the Damn. God. Like, Fuck. Lord, this giving me some bad memories. Yeah, I nah, I never shit. failed to test again after my dad pulled the belt on me in first grade. Like, look at him, bro, even throwing truck tune at him. So then Toji ends up stabbing him, but then he bags off and just starts looking at his little shaky ass like, oh, no. Nah. That's my boy. So then he started remembering how he sold him, thinking that it was the best form in the dead mama in the background. Bro, we really got that Kingdom Hearts music in the background, bro. It's crazy how I know most of the soundtrack and the voices on here. I tell you, know I'm on the internet too much. <laughs> Take care of Megumi, honey. So then Toji says, Yeah, fuck that. Huh? I'm not paying that fucking child support. Adios, little nigga. <laughs> Damn it, Tori. Rather off himself than pay that child support. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of our first trial. Oh and with very God, valid, clear cut evidence, Mr. Fushiguro makes this with ease. One trial down, one to go. When will it drop? I don't know, bro. Is this nigga serious? <laughs> you know, fuck it, bro. Hey, if y'all like this video, I'll drop this whole sometime next week. In the meantime, go up to my hey, let's go. Me and my broskies, we do cool shit over there. Trust me, you'll love it. And until we meet again. That's what's up. This was good. That was a fun CJ to Chan video. Damn, bro. So, dude, Toji, man. So don't quote me on what I said earlier. I don't know if that's true, but I did hear on Twitter and stuff. But niggas be chatting on Twitter all the time, so I, I really don't know if that's even true. How do y'all feel about Toji? Is he your favorite character? Uh, to be honest with you, um, my favorite character is Yuji because like he always gets shit on, and then like he makes it out somehow. So Yuji Itadori is my favorite character. I know, I'm cliche, you know whatever it's crazy because like at some point in the manga though like bro is not even really like the main character like well he is the main character but like he's not treated as like the main character like for a while <laughs> like people actually start to question if he is even the main character at this point and i don't even know dude but this was a good video another good cg to chant video if you guys like today's video I, I keep saying video a lot my bad uh click the like button hit the subscribe with the bell notification i shall see y'all do Peace.